Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Halloween themed for you guys as well and it is going to be Halloween basket. So this year is a little bit different as I expect it is for all of you guys as well. Um, we're not going out trick or treating this year. It is personal choice. We've decided um, it's not safe enough to be knocking other people's doors and I don't think it's safe enough for people to be knocking our doors this year so for the first time ever sadly we're not going to be doing it so I've made that little bit of extra effort um, on their baskets and this year I've done one for me and dad so that we can all just enjoy our baskets and uh, enjoy the day at home doing a lot of activities which you will see uh, tomorrow but yeah um I've bought a few different things to add to it. So obviously this is it's not like a, a cheap basket or it's not an expensive basket. If I've seen something, I've bought it because I liked it and uh, I'm gonna add to it. But uh, yeah, Blake's here with me. He has to leave in a minute though because he doesn't know what's in his basket. So yes. I do. You don't. He's seen a couple of sneakies because he's been trying to look <laughs> in this bag, haven't you? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to put them together and show you guys um, what we're going to be doing. He wants to be in a video. Girls are upstairs making Halloween um, challenge games for us, ready for tomorrow, aren't they? Oh, mm -hmm. careful. Um, so yeah, so I thought while I've actually got like 10 minutes to myself, I'm going to sit here and put our baskets together and I wasn't going to show you but I thought you know what I might as well actually film it and show you guys um, just in case you need to do some last minute shopping today and pop out and uh, get some bits isn't that? Well, so what I've done first is I couldn't get a black tissue paper anyway so I've gone for the gold and I've just laced every basket up with uh, I didn't buy baskets actually, I bought bowls because I just thought to myself, well if I buy baskets they're just going to get loaded up with junk and then put into their bedrooms, whereas at least if we've got these bowls they can be used for snacks, crisps, um, pancake mixes, cakes, all sorts, so they will be used all the time other than um, having junk in. So yeah, so I've layered it. Now what I have just done though is I bought some uh, batteries. And I did have these eyeball lights to go on once I've decorated it. I've just gone to put the brand new batteries in and they're not working. So I'm going to give them to Nigel to have a little quick look at. But I've got a feeling that they're a no-go. Which is a shame. They were from, they were from Paola. But it's not the point. You still pay for something that should work. But never mind. Right, so first off, I've gone for a mask because he did specifically ask for this one when we went in there before. So yeah, I think I'm going to start with that and then have that just sort of resting at the back, just as so. And then I've gone for a axe glow stick. Just sort of stick that to the side. Now I've gone for a pack of lollies. Which I think I'm going to slide in like that actually. Probably with Blake's basket is it's going to look overloaded because he's got a lot of um, like heavier stuff. Well, I've gone for this for him to make during the day so he can sew his own monster. And then I've gone for some easy peel scar tattoos because he doesn't like face paint. different colours like red, green, blue, switch that up. Gone for some little chocolate bites. 
Um, what I think I'm going to do actually is so we've got some milk chocolate hollow shapes. So I think I'm going to open them and just sort of plant them in like that, just because there's not much room to be chucking in. Uh, that one's a bit broken. Let's see if we can stand him back up. Tuck that label in. And then to finish Blake off, we have some chocolate apples, which I will just sort of slide like that. Now, as I was obviously going to put the lights on, but they're not working, I will get Nigel to look at them, but I do think they're not going to work. So, what I thought I would do is, once I can, so I've got this fake cobweb and if I can I'm going to pull it off and there you have it spooky basket no. right so now I'm on to Lexi's she is 10 so it's for a slight a bit, bit of an older person or minor Right, so first of all, I got the, I'm not sure, hopefully she uses this. I'm going to try and get her to use it tomorrow. But a stitched up makeup kit, because she's not really into massive face paints. But I thought if she could do something like this, it might be fun for her. So we'll just sort of shove that at the back. Also got a whole pack of scary shaped lollies for her. I think... I'm going to sort of fold, just stick in there like that. I'm going to tilt from it so I'm going to have to hold the bucket. Also got her some eyeballs which I shall just place there. There we go, it's staying still. Now I got her a top from New Look. As you see, it says cute and spooky. It wasn't six ninety nine. This was actually three pound in the sale, so I was quite. I thought I'm going to pick that up for her because this is the type of tops that she uh, wears. So I'm going to get that put in there. Also got some uh, little Moon Star socks. No, it does say they were two forty nine, but they weren't. Again, they were a pound in the New Look sale. I just sort of thought to put that tag in. Got Lexi some little skull marshmallows. They were just from Asda. Can't remember the price to be honest. I got her a can of Fanta just for the colour the colour scheme should I say and then some minion chocolates we'll just put there oh I can't forget there so we've also got a little teddy these are on sale in Claire's so I paid like three pounds something for this these are the teddies that she collects the squeeze them all so got her one of them it's called a plump So got her a lolly. And then I've got her a really thick chain. She really likes wearing these thick um, chains, a bit like Billie Eilish. And then, but this one has got a spider on. I mean, she could take this spider off if she didn't like it too much. It's only a little um, clip there that you can bend. And then she could add something else if she liked. This was actually in the sale for £2. I actually bought this this morning as a last minute gift because I saw it. But yeah, I'm going to slide that in somewhere. I then finished off with a pair of, if it focuses, a pair of cross earrings. And then what I shall do, I shall do the same again and I shall wrap that with some cobweb. There you go, it's all wrapped in the spiderweb. 
Right, so now we're on to Chanel's. Now she is 14, so obviously some of her stuff are slightly different to her sister Lexi's because obviously she is older. She's not into the same sort of stuff. So let's start hers. So obviously they like the same sweets. So I'll stick her lollies at the back. Also got her some eyeballs. I'm just sort of gonna hopefully dump them in and they stand. We shall see. But this uh same marshmallows as well. Instead of the I've got the Chanel this one because she's um she's quite artistic, so I think she could do something with this. And it's got like the middle nose ring to look like that. But it's just from Panland. Uh they're not expensive at all. And then I bought some extra face gems from Pamland as well. Which I'll just sort of tuck in behind the sweeties actually. I got Chanel likes teddies as well. I know she's 14, but she still likes little teddies. Uh, she's still a child at the end of the day. So she's got a plump and she's got the mummy version. I also got her some little minion chocolates I got her a face mask um, obviously I got the villains just to fit in with the Halloween sort of scary theme um, I didn't take the price off but it was free for two so I bought a couple of other things so that's what it should look like on her when it focuses doesn't want to focus there we go Also got her a can of Fanta. I'll just sort of stick in the middle there. A couple of other bits left. So I also got her a lolly. I'll just sort of stick there. I got her a um, from Claire's as well because it was a really super good deal on all the Claire stuff that I showed you. It was all on sale. Um, a little mood moon uh, necklace just to fit in with the mystic sort of Halloween theme and then to finish Chanel off I got her oh, they're upside down I actually got her some earrings if they focus there we go so they've got little crosses hanging on a like little diamond is hanging but that's that's her style that she would wear anyway uh, on a excuse me, sir, uh, playing with a toy in the other room, but yeah, so it's got like a little cat on, so she would wear these anyway, even without it being Halloween, so they would be finished off. And then I shall wrap hers with some cobweb, and there you go, that is Chanel's one all finished. On to the as I was going through to get the adult stuff, I did realise that I'd missed this out of Chanel's um, box. And it's a set of 100 palm reading cards. Discover your future in the palm of your hands. So it's got like a, a load of cards in there uh, for her. So I'm just going to add that to her basket quickly. Right, so now I am on to Dad's. Dad doesn't drink alcohol, he's boring. He does drink alcohol, but he prefer a bottle of this. So I'm literally gonna lay that right in the middle to hold the bucket still. I know, very random. Who wants a, a bottle of Tango for Halloween? But Nigel will. Now I've got him some Aero, and I didn't realize it was actually got Christmas trees. I didn't really think about that properly, but it doesn't matter. Um, also got him some matchmakers and then these are his favourite just got some tags no one in the house likes these as well so he gets to eat all these to himself um, he's also got some Halloween marshmallows to snack on and then what from Boohoo this was I got him because um, he's a fisherman he likes to have his face covered I uh, got a snood and obviously to go in with the theme, I've got a, um, this was £1.40. It's a bargain. Just pull, pull it over your head. He has got one already that he wears, but it's quite mucky. 
So he's got a nice new one just to keep his face uh, warm when he's um, out at sea. So I'll just sort of put that there. I've got a pair of socks and it does have a naughty finger on it. We'll sort of put them there like that. These are the things he'll really want because it's not in any way Halloween themed but I really didn't know what to get Nigel for Halloween. So I keep an eye on what he buys and uh, I got him his favourite lures and uh, some hooks and I'm just going to add them. And then that's Nigel's box so I'm going to wrap that in web. And there you have it. A male. Okay so now we're on to a ladies basket. Moise. So I've got myself some blood orange gin. So I haven't got a lot to go in my basket because obviously this is expensive on its own. Which I will put there, taking pride of place. And then I got myself a little skull uh, wine glass from Pamland, just to fit in with the theme really. Um, would have drink out of it all the time and the kids will probably use it to be honest with you. Uh, I got myself an aero bar as well. And then the other piece of chocolate I have is some matchmakers, which, which I'm going to place right there. I also have a bath fizzer. So I've got the Evil Queen Cauldron Bath Fizzer from um, Boots. So this was £4 as well, but as I said before, I did the three for two. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. So I did sort of see inside it's like green on top. Um, so yeah, this would be nice in the bath. I've got myself a face mask. Me and Chanel could be uh, evil villains together. And, oh Christ. Some some reason mine's scarier. Let's see if it'll focus for you. Come on. You can sort of tell it, it really doesn't want to focus for you. But uh you can sort of see it basically is scarier than that version. So I'll sort of tuck that in there like that. I got myself some little socks, the same as Lexi. Uh so I will just sort of stick them like that. And then I got myself some pumpkin apple muffins, uh, scent wax cubes. So you can see, so I look forward to putting this into my Scentsy uh, mini warmer just to try. I, did, I was going to order myself some from my um, consultant, but it, it wouldn't have got here in time. But then I saw this in Asda and I thought, why not? I'll try it. And I think it was £1.50, so it's a lot cheaper anyway. So yeah, that so there you go. So that is uh, my little box, and then you've got some little lights if you really want it to go all out. You could just spread the lights out, and there you go. And I will put the cobweb on. And there you go. That's that finished. You can see the spider one, leather cobwebs, and I look forward to having. Right, so that's all five of our baskets done for you guys to see what we have as a surprise tomorrow uh, hope you enjoyed watching and we shall see you tomorrow for halloween see you soon guys bye for now